A month passes since the Wolf Pack's last offensive into France. As part of Winston Churchill's Operation Shingle, the Allied forces attempt an amphibious landing in Anzio, Italy, but they suffer heavy losses from a German counterattack as they attempt to move further inland. During this time, the Wolf Pack is stationed in Britain, awaiting their orders and gathering information for the Allied intelligence network. Meanwhile, Second Lieutenant Colonel Louis Canton, a Wolf Pack agent who's been working closely with the Resistance, has been tracking the Needle's movements for weeks. On February 13, 1944, the Wolf Pack receives a telegram from Lewis with urgent information regarding the Needle. Allied intelligence has discovered the Needle's location. Lewis's telegram informs them he was last seen hiding out in a hotel near Le Havre in northwestern France. Upon receiving this update, the Wolf Pack immediately leaves for Portsmouth to depart for France that same night. Are you all right? Huh? Oh, hi, Cordelia. Sorry, I didn't hear you there. That's all right. What were you thinking about? The war. The Germans. I mean, they're resurrecting the dead. Making a bomb that can turn a city into ashes. What's next? They'll do anything to win. Not all Germans are evil, you know. Hitler and his lot might be. But there are good Germans, too. You shouldn't forget that. Good Germans? Hitler may be the one giving the orders, but who are the ones carrying them out? It's the good Germans killing people, not Hitler. I know what you're trying to say, but not all Germans are like that. Some of them are against the war. How would you know? I know because... My father was German. What? My family lived in Berlin before the war. Wait! So that means you're German? Well, half German and half British. My mother met my father when she was studying in Germany. They got married and settled down there. After I was born, they found out I had a special... gift. I considered it a curse, but my parents loved me all the same. They were kind people, both of them. A special gift, huh? That's... Wait a second, how did you end up in Britain? My father worked in a military research institute, but he was very vocal about his opposition to the war. One day, some men in black came to our house and took him away. He came home two weeks later, in a casket. The officers said he took his own life, but my mother and I knew the truth. They had tortured him to death. It wasn't long before the Gestapo began to take an interest in me. They had somehow learned about my abilities. My mother and I knew we had to leave Germany and move to Britain. We managed to slip past our surveillance and find our way into France, but as we were about to cross the Strait of Dover, they caught up to us and killed my mother. They captured me. But while they were bringing me back to Germany, Lieutenant Colonel Gallant and the Wolf Pack rescued me. They've been my family for the past five years now. Cordelia, I had no idea. But after all that, how can you defend the Germans? They murdered your parents! No, the Nazis murdered them. But not all Germans are Nazis. Don't you get it? There are a lot of Germans who are against the war. When my mother and I were fleeing, the only reason we made it out of the country was because kind Germans fed us, sheltered us, and helped us hide. Well, maybe it's different because you lived there. I mean, you may be right, but after my parents and Alicia, I just can't forgive them. I can't forget what happened. My father was a German, and he wasn't a Nazi. And you don't see me fighting for them, do you? I don't kill innocent people. I'm not a murderer. Please, you can't hate an entire country. How do you expect me not to? They killed the ones I loved. I can still hear them, Cordelia. I can still hear them scream. <sighs> I'm 
sorry. I, I didn't mean to. I, I'm sorry. As you know, team, our mission is to capture the needle. Our intelligence agents have been working with the Resistance, and together they've managed to locate his whereabouts. For the past few weeks, he's been scouting the coastal area between Normandy and Calais. At present, he's hiding in a hotel near Le Havre. Our sources say most of the German garrison stationed there was reassigned to Paris last week. So defences will be light, but we shouldn't let our guard down. Zero hour is at 0530 February 14th. Get yourselves ready. We'll begin moving ashore in one hour. Welcome. I am Agent Gilbert, leader of the resistance in this region. Lieutenant Colonel Gallant, British Special Forces. The Needle hasn't left his room in days. My men have been keeping a close watch on him. Lead us to him, Agent Gilbert. Looks like we walked right into a trap. Well, well, what do we have here? We've been expecting you, my friend. You haven't come all this way to capture the Needle, have you? You're that officer from the Gestapo headquarters. I may have underestimated you before, but this time, you won't be so lucky. You're trapped here. Don't worry, we won't be the ones needing an escape route. <laughs> How amusing. But there are only ten of you against my entire battalion and armored vehicles. You don't stand a chance. Your overconfidence will be your undoing. You saw what we did to your units the last time we met. How disappointing. I was hoping to hear some begging this morning. But instead, you seem to be in a hurry to die. Spread out! Thank <laughs> you. 